about eight ish in the morning. It's eight thirty. Uh, posted on Instagram and to a YouTube short, I believe, that uh, we'll be doing an install video of the uh, SP oil pan and their uh, cat filter housing. So, as of right now, I'm just waiting on my buddy Will, brother from another mother, to show up. And then uh, be picking things up there because we're going to start on his truck first because he's got the uh, SP uh, fuel filter, cat fuel filter upgrade set up that we're going to install first. Sorry if I'm talking soft, I just woke up. So pick y'all up whenever, yeah, pick y'all up whenever he shows up. Well. It only took it only took an hour, but finally showed up. What's up? Put the, put the end of the hose Huh? Oh yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be I think this is gonna be worse the worst part of this whole ordeal, should I say. Is trying to do the fuel filter thing. I talked to Jared uh, yesterday. Text. He was doing uh, doing his site for Marathon Texas. Yeah, Texas City. Like I told him, I said, "Well, don't get caught sleeping." He's like, "Man, I wasn't sleeping." All right, he was sleeping.
So whenever y'all are tightening these up, these are O-ring boss fittings. Don't need Teflon, they don't need sealant. They have an O-ring they tighten up against. So just remember that. They don't have any torque specs, I don't believe, so. So, if you have, what tank is this? Titan? SMB. If you have an SMB 60 gallon fuel tank and you decide to put on the SPE cat filter upgrade, have small hands because there is no room to get to the factory Ford wonderful push, pull, whatever the hell you want to call them clips. So just keep that in the back of your minds. When y'all do this, we got it. All right, and it's gonna be worth it. You see what's going on? So here? pick y'all back up once we get some more stuff installed. So a few lessons learned. Yeah. Uh, this gonna hang out over here. No, we can tuck that in. So it's hard to see. That is a three-quarter, that's a quarter by three-eighths by three-quarter long steel spacer. And I believe in another video somebody made, they used a half-inch spacer, but that's on a factory tank. This is a SNB 60-gallon. Um, so that's just a note to anybody wanting to do this that has a SNB fuel tank on their 6.7. Uh, three-quarter inch spacer is what you'll need to keep the clearance for the uh, hose connections on the top of the tank. Without that, um, it, it won't hook, you won't be able to hook up any of the hoses. So just uh, food for thought and, you know, notations as we go along. I know uh, SPE says this is a 30 minute to an hour install. I believe that's on a factory fuel tank. We have now been out this for a few hours. Three, four hours. And, uh, I mean, that is with stopping and eating some lunch. But, yep, we'll pick it back up after we get a little bit further. And that's the last piece of the fuel system puzzle. Filters and everything are hooked up and ready to go underneath. Holy shit, this thing is hot. But this takes place of the fuel filter under, under the hood. Yeah. Give me a regular ratchet. A regular ratchet? And a swivel if you got it. There's fucking trans fucking around that shit around me. Tell you how hot this fender is. Let me tell you how hot this fucking. Well. And after we get this installed, be on to the oil pan and the cat filter housing. So, see all them. Basically, once you take your factory fuel filter out, just put this bracket back in. Just 
rehook up your uh, fuel lines like if it was a factory fuel filter and basically done. This is pretty straightforward. You know, there's no special tricks or tips or nothing I can give you on this. So, you know. finished product take extra special care with this small connection right here you know to break don't be rough with it next we'll be doing the uh, oil filter and oil pan we got a drain tool it's behind you you're putting your hair all in the hole yeah it'll be alright I think it drained enough yeah. I don't know what I did with that socket just now. It's over here. Okay. Where's the ratchet? Let me go grab the tin. Hey, pull my, uh, fill cap. Oh, okay. It's gonna be fun getting this bucket out from under here. Nah, you just slide it backwards, it'll go under the frame. It ain't gonna go under my steps, though. Yeah, well. Yeah. Well, I'm about to drop this oil filter. I'm just gonna drop it straight in the fucking bucket. What? It's gonna drop straight into the bucket. Yeah. That's all I can. That's all I can move. You got off of the ranch. I don't know, but I got a big pair of pliers. I don't work too. The only thing vehicle specific I have for this truck is the socket that takes off the uh, frame mounted filter. James. What? He's not big enough, bro. Yeah, it'll work. Yeah, okay. That's what I use. Hey, here. Look. Push it. Let me do it. Oh, your camera fell. Oh, disaster. <laughs> hey, we're going to make money off of feet picks. Yeah. <sighs> Why it's so black? Nah, that's just how it is. You want to break clean? Nah. I wonder if I got a screwdriver and just punch it. I mean, we're not reusing that filter, obviously. These channel lights don't work like they never would before. I know. Those things are going to be like fucking brand new.
So when I do that new CC view out, yeah. we're gonna run that hose all the way down the frame. Bumper? Somewhere back there. So I ain't smelling it in my truck. Hall of Famer Jim Brown dies at 87. So, this is a 2017 F-250, so for anybody that's got a earlier model than that, you'll have no problems, but this bracket right here, that's factory welded to the frame, will make it sort of difficult to get to the last Allen that's up here. So take that in consideration. Other than that, install the SP CAT oil filter housing and SP billet oil pan is done uh i didn't get to film as much as i wanted to because uh ran into some situations where we needed both hands and my uh my magnetic mount is uh broken so sorry about that for anybody that uh might not find this video's you know full on how to but uh everything went on pretty much like it was said it would no real issues there. You do have to pry your factory oil pan off because it's basically glued on. And, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure there's a torque spec for these. I usually just go tight and then a little bit more and call it done. The oil filter does call for go to snug and then one full turn. And that's, you know, that's it being tight. And then that's, that's pretty much it. Just fill it up with oil, start it up, check for leaks. And now you got increased oil capacity, better oil cooling, better oil filtration. You know, it's worth it in my book. What do y'all think? Put it in the comments. And like okay. and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, what he said, like and subscribe, comment. If y'all want to see another video, 
how-to video. Y'all like this one? Let me know. See y'all later.